Good evening, everyone. Today we are back with another case of gynecology. This is the third case and is a very prevalent disease among women. It is a case study on polycystic ovarian syndrome. Our case involves a 29-year-old female who had complaints of primary infertility. Her menstruation history, her periods occur every 31 to 46 days and can be heavy at times but not painful. She had an appendectomy at the age of 12 years. Uh, they used to use condoms as their contraceptives, which they stopped using two years back. Her partner is well and drinks approximately eight units of alcohol per week and does not smoke. The woman is, uh, has normal smear. She had never suffered from sexually transmitted infections. She does not take any medications and she drinks approximately six units of alcohol per week and she does not smoke. On examination, her body mass index is 29 kg per meter square, exactly high. She has slight acne on her face and her chest. There are no abdominal scars and the abdomen is non-tender with no masses palpable. Speculum and bimanual examination are normal. Lab parameters, her luteinizing hormone was normal. Follicle stimulating hormone is normal. Testosterone is slightly high and day 21 progesterone is low. A transvaginal ultrasound, ultrasound scan was performed and cysts can be observed in her ovaries. The diagnosis on the basis of subjective and objective data, lab parameters, and specialized diagnostic tests, the diagnosis is of anovulatory infertility due to polycystic ovarian syndrome. Anovulation is shown by the progesterone level below 30 nanomole per liter, and PCOS suggested by several features, including increased BMI, acne, oligomenorrhea, polycystic ovaries, and transvaginal ultrasound examination increased androgen level and increased LH. Signs and symptoms of PCOS include irregular menstruation, heavy periods, excess hair, acne, pelvic pain, difficulty in conceiving, patches of dark, thick and velvety skin. Our patient was facing excess hair, acne and patches of dark skin and also difficulty in conceiving. So she was concluded to have PCOS. Need of therapy, to treat the symptoms, to prevent progression of disease, and to treat the patient's infertility. About this disease, PCOS is a heterogeneous disorder defined by a combination of clinical or biochemical hyperandrogenism, oligoanovulation, and polycystic ovarian morphology on ultrasound. The prevalence of PCOS could be as high as 26% among some populations, though it also ranges between 4% to 18% as reported for general populations. The exact cause of PCOS is uncertain, but genetic and environmental factors may play a role. Polycystic ovaries develop when the ovaries are stimulated to produce excessive amounts of androgenic hormone, in particular testosterone, by either release of excessive luteinizing hormone or through high levels of insulin in the blood in women with sensitive ovaries. Management and intervention. PCOS is one of the commonest causes of infertility. However, up to 30% of subfertile couples have a multifactorial cause for their problem. Hence, complete investigation of both partners is essential prior to treating the PCOS. This includes semen analysis of her partner, Tubal patency test, hysterosalpingogram is usually sufficient. Laparoscopy and dye test if pelvic inflammatory disease, adhesions, or endometriosis are suggested from the history. Testing for rubella is also necessary as it is a recommendation to take folic acid if this is not already taken. Other general advice includes minimizing alcohol intake, avoiding smoking, and ensuring regular intercourse. The women should aim to reduce weight as this commonly induces ovulation in high BMI women with PCOS. Treatment for anovulation. Clomiphene citrate is the main treatment to induce ovulation. The women should be given 50 mg to take on day 2 to 6 of the menstrual cycle with day 21 progesterone checked to confirm ovulation. 
If ovulation occurs, then the glomifene is continued for up to six cycles unless pregnancy occurs. If ovulation is not confirmed, then the dose is increased to 100 mg. Glomifene citrate is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. It is also known as an ovulation inducer and it is also found to boost and restore testosterone levels in hypogonadal men. It is not recommended to take lumifene for more than six months due to a theoretical increased risk of ovarian carcinoma. If lumifene fails, then further ovulation induction agents and IVF need to be considered. Thank you.